civil society organizations in the Caribbean have a critical role to play, and they have been playing a critical role in biodiversity conservation within the Caribbean region. But what Canary, the Caribbean Natural Resources Institute, has realized in its research throughout the years is that organizations are still not playing that as effective role as they can play when it comes to policy processes being involved at the policy level or implementation of successful biodiversity conservation projects that are producing real results. So with support from the MacArthur Foundation, Canary is engaged in a three-year project, which um, part of that project is to develop a pool of mentors throughout the Caribbean region. And our hope within this project is that by building the capacity of key individuals to be mentors, that they can then mentor civil society organizations. Hi, I'm Ashbop Semple. I'm a volunteer mentor from Jamaica. Hello, I'm Agnes. I'm from Dominica. I work with the Jeff Small Grants Program. I am Brian Cooper. I'm from Antigua and Barbuda. And I'm associated with the Environmental Awareness Group and the National Parks Authority. Hello, I'm Donatian Gustav from St. Lucia Forestry Department. I'm Emil Pemberton from St. Kitts and Nevis, Nevis Turtle Group. I'm Emmanuel Pierre from Haiti. I'm working on civil protection direction. Hi, I'm Fitzgerald Providence from Forestry St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hi, I'm Catherine Blackman from Surmese at the University of the West Indies. Hi, I'm Real De Sanchez from Dominican Republic. I work for Progressive Foundation. Hi, I'm Beva Lawrence. I work with LIFE in Jamaica. Through this mentorship program, we have been getting hands-on experience using various methods that um, are practical and easy to apply when we go back to our communities to work with our groups. And this is just one method we use, using Play-Doh and other craft material to visualize, show what we intend to do after we leave the, the program and what we expect to come out of the work that we will be doing in the communities. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the process of mentoring is very important for, for us in the forestry department as we work with um, rural communities. And this comes in important when they're doing conservation projects. The, the methodologies of, of getting the, the communities to be activated and to be focused in what they're doing um, is very important. and, and um, that's one of the things that we have seen a benefit from um, the training and mentorship in that it's easier to work with communities, it's easier to get them motivated and also to bring other persons who are interested in mentoring groups to come together and to work with, with communities for the conservation of our natural resources. We have a really wide and diverse group of CSOs from environmental groups, agriculture groups, conservation groups. We have people from the, the policy making bodies, the ministries of agriculture, um, ECA, and so we have people from their so, some associations. So it was a real wide, diverse group. The, the most interesting group that was there and which generated a lot of interest because of the impact on the environment was the group from the charcoal burning, um, the charcoal, um, oh, charcoal producers. producers group. And they, we use them a lot in terms of helping them to identify they were affecting the marine environment, they were affecting the, the mangroves, and that, that in itself um, helped. We were able to, to help a number of the group to see how they were linked, their actions or inaction was linked to the other groups that were present in the room. As a mentor, we recognized that in giving the community a voice, they were able to 
actually show some of the um, issues that were going on on the ground, some of the trials and tribulations that they were having, and their expectations and their dreams of the future. I just want to say that these two workshops have been phenomenal. They've been like a lightning bolt striking twice in October and in this month, July. I just want to highlight that Canary, the MacArthur Foundation, and our team, the methods of learning, the methods of facilitation, of doing needs assessment, of engaging communities, it has really affected me to the extent that my way of thinking and working with members of my staff at Forestry Department, with the community personnel also in St. Lucia, that it has not been the same. In fact, if you look at the community groups that I work with, from Red Cross Disaster Management to livelihoods, groups dealing with livelihoods, you can see the work program has changed and I play a role but not one of leading, if not of facilitating. Hi, Real Des. Nice to talk to you. How are things going in the Dominican Republic? I, I really wanted to ask you about how your workshop went and, and what sort of tools you were able to use uh, to get across uh, the mentor's message. I'm very glad to talk to you. Yeah, the workshop was very great, was wonderful, we have a great attendance and I have chance to use the tools from the last mentoring workshop about actual learning, so everything was, was okay and uh, we have a great time there. Yes, thanks, that was great information, uh, a lot of help. Um, let's keep in touch and, and I'll let you know how my workshop goes. Hasta la vista. Okay, Brian, a nice uh, hearing from you. Goodbye. See you later. So one of the goals that we hope to achieve throughout the mentor program is that mentors are going to be working with local organizations, so civil society groups within their own country, to help develop organizational capacity to really strengthen the organization itself to function more effectively, and also look at key areas of capacity. So effective project design, proposal development, how can mentors help um, these groups to access funding and then also how can mentors help in ensuring the projects are implemented effectively going right through to the stages of effective monitoring and evaluation. So really looking at that full cycle of how can we help train mentors and build capacity to mentors to then go on and build capacities of organizations within their countries who are working specifically in the area of biodiversity conservation. To be as effective as we can be in the mentorship program, we should try and work together to engage groups to mentor, to, to act as neutral facilitators, act as neutral, right? and to exchange our experiences as we apply the knowledge we have learned working with our different groups. Yeah. Mentorship in the Caribbean has a very good um, and important future. Why? Because um, our communities are small, our islands are small, and there are so many demands on our, our natural resources. And if we don't use them wisely, if we don't conserve these resources, our, our, our islands will, will deteriorate. Once the communities are, are motivated and, and guided by the appropriate mentors, they will be able to better conserve the environment and, and you can see more opportunities for sustainable development in these communities as they realize that their livelihood is dependent on the natural resources and that they can do something to conserve and protect these natural resources.